The Euler spiral, also known as the Cornu spiral or clothoid, is defined as the curve in which the curvature increases linearly with the arc length. The curvature starts at zero in the straight section, increases linearly with the curve length, and finally becomes equal to that of a circular curve. Considering curvature as a signed quantity, the curve forms a double spiral with odd symmetry and a single inflection point at the centre. It first arose in connection with a problem in elasticity posed by James Bernoulli in 1694 and was correctly offered as a solution by Leonard Euler. It was later independently reinvented twice, first by Augustin Fresnel to compute the diffraction of light through a slit, and again by Arthur Talbot to produce an ideal shape for a railway transition curve connecting a straight section with a section of given curvature. Imagine a train travelling on a straight path that has to switch abruptly to a tangential circular path. The centripetal acceleration would have to switch suddenly at the tangent point from zero to the required value on the circular section. On early railroads, the instant application of a lateral force to make this happen wasn't so much of an issue because the speeds were low and the curves had a wide radius. But as the speed of rail vehicles increased, it became obvious that you couldn't just go instantly from a straight section to a circular section without some transitional length of track, otherwise there'd be too much mechanical stress on the vehicle's parts and passengers would be thrown around. This problem was very noticeable on one of the first roller coasters to have a vertical loop. Known as Flip Flap Railway at Sea Lion Park in Brooklyn, New York, it was one of the most dangerous fairground rides ever built. Completed in 1895, it was the first looping roller coaster in North America. Flip Flap Railway featured a 25 foot diameter vertical circular loop, and therein lay the problem. The loop was very small and perfectly round. It meant that as riders went into the circular section and again as they came out of it, they were subjected momentarily to a bone-crushing 12G acceleration, enough to cause serious neck and spine injuries. As the speeds of rail vehicles increased over the years, it became obvious that an easement was necessary so that the centripetal acceleration increased linearly with the distance travelled. Given that centripetal acceleration varies as 1 over r, the obvious solution was to provide an easement curve whose curvature increases linearly with the travel distance. In other words, the geometry of an Euler spiral. Designers of looping roller coasters use exactly the same technique to avoid undue stresses on riders. The entrance and exit sections of a loop take the form of an Euler spiral.